Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to clear your virtual memory page file at shutdown. If you didn't know, as your memory starts to fill up a little bit, it can swap memory into a file called pagefile.sys, and then it uses that as virtual memory. The problem with disabling it, and I'm not going to get into it because of this, is that if you disable virtual memory, sometimes programs will crash. So it's not worth it, but it is probably worth it to clear it when you shut down. A lot of drive cleaning apps will do that as well. Let me show you where it is. Start your file explorer up, go to view, and click on options, and then click on the view tab. Scroll down and you're looking for hide protected operating system files, just so you can see it. And if you want to see it, click yes, click OK, and let's go to our C drive. And there's your page file.sys. I'm using up 1.4 gigs right now. I'm in a virtual machine only using four gigs of memory, so you, you might be less. So we're gonna leave that for now, just so you know how it works. A couple ways to do this. Look for the I up here in the video or check the video description for a link to this page. And you can download registry files for major geeks and you just double click clear, enable. Clear virtual memory file, disable if you change your mind, do the yes, yes, okay thing, and reboot your computer. Now, if you want to do it yourself, that's cool. Let's open the registry editor, grab this code right here, and we're going to go Windows key plus R and do regedit. And let's find our way down here. H key, local machine, system, current control set, control. Just follow right through here. Session manager. It's kind of hard to go real, real slow, so just hit pause when moving along too fast and just follow this step by step. There's your session manager. And let's go to memory management right here. And here is your clear page file at shutdown. That's exactly what these registry files do. They just make this change for you. By default, it is a zero for the value data. So go ahead and double click clear page file at shutdown. There's your zero. Change that to a one and then click OK. And that's it. And you just have to repeat those steps and change that back to a zero if you change your mind, which is why the registry files really simplify it. If you have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise, you can use Group Policy Editor. So let's take a look at that. Windows 10 Home Users, again, you can find a link here. You'd have to enable Group Policy Editor, which can be done. Windows key plus R, gpedit.msc. That's gpedit.msc. Click OK. And once again, let's follow along. Computer configuration, right there. Expand it. Let me move this over here. Computer configuration, Windows settings, security settings, local policies. Got to keep moving it. Security options. And we're looking for shutdown clear virtual memory page file. So it should be alphabetical. Right there. So we're going to double click that. And as you can see, it's a little different if you've seen group policy editor settings before than all of them. Enabled or disabled. Since I changed the registry, it probably already automatically enabled it in this setting. And once again, the explanation is here if needed, right there. And there you have it. So take, pick your choice there. And it's as easy as that. And then restart. That's about it. Pretty easy to do. I just hooked this up on my other computer. I like having it. I do like having it on here as well, especially in a virtual machine. A lot of people like it for security reasons because you don't know what was saved in there. So it's just another one of those options in Windows. And there you have it. And that's how you clear your virtual memory page file at shutdown or restart. All right, bottom right-hand corner, subscribe button pops up. You can click that if you like. Click like, leave us a comment, let us know how you made out. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.